There are over 1,300 known mutations of cystic fibrosis. For some people, it's working wonders, like it's really helping. where we ended the vlog last night. Good morning, and guys. Coffee? Coffee. But literally, coffee. <sighs> you wanna tell them about choking in the night? Well, <clears throat> did I? I'm trying to remember what I said yesterday as we were ending the vlog. Yesterday we were just kind of reflecting on how grateful we were um, that we were able to go on Friday night service and <coughs> um, and then I realized that like I had a low grade fever like once we ended the vlog and I went in and did my vest like but anyway uh how we didn't, like I didn't feel those symptoms during the service and then I was like, it makes me a little scared for tomorrow because I'm probably gonna feel not good. Well, through the night, like yeah, I like woke up like <clears throat> like choking on mucus and um, there was a, I was like looking for um, one of my red solo cups or I've been currently using these little paper Mickey cups from the dollar store <coughs> and um anyway long story short I think my apprehensions about today are coming true but um, like we said yesterday worth it sometimes you push through and enjoy it like we were so grateful for last night yeah know? well um, and like it's it's not like if I hadn't gone, yeah. <clears throat> if I just sat at home, I it's not like this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Well, I do think that sometimes when you push your body, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think <clears throat> I do wonder that. Like when I'm, it it almost feels like when I'm relying on the adrenaline, which I can say is probably what was happening last night. When I'm relying on the adrenaline, <clears throat> it's almost like my lungs turn off the brain part that says we need to clear our lungs. Do you know what I mean? Well, and like, I know that in settings like church, you suppress, like yeah. suppress coughing. And I think- As much as possible. Yeah. I mean, and it's interesting because sometimes I'm more successful than other times. Yeah. And like, but whether it's conscious or subconscious, I'm definitely suppressing. Yeah. So. So then you're saying there's obviously going to be. More mucus to clear after the fact. So I think this is interesting. Um, there's a lot of, this is probably a really common question is a very common question we get. The like new fancy uh, CF medications that are out. That you probably <clears throat> hear about in the news and in the and CF you see community and articles sort of on Facebook and stuff like that. Am I on them? And if I'm not, why don't I just take those? So the answer is there are over 1300 known mutations of cystic fibrosis. So <clears throat> under the name cystic fibrosis, over a thousand, 1300 known mutations, which means there's a ton of unknown mutations as well. <clears throat> these variations of how cystic fibrosis works. So anyway, these <laughs> research companies have researched how to treat the underlying issue. It's not a cure, but it does treat at a cellular level. And it's working, for some people, it's working wonders. Like, it's really helping. I'm not within one of those mutations that they've already created a medication for. My mutation doesn't fit in any of the categories that have been studied, or that have been 
Well, that have been gone to market. Right. That have there is a drug right now um, that is in <coughs> the final stages of <coughs> the trials. And actually, when these drugs were first starting their trials, we were real excited because Mary was going to be part of the trial. And we, I think we like signed the paperwork and we had our first appointment already and then like the night before they called and said that because of Mary's liver disease, she was disqualified from the studies. And it makes sense because they don't want that extra variable in the research phase. <coughs> So, anyways, we were real excited for that drug to finish its trials, when was it, like a month ago, or <coughs> well, like this month? originally it was going to be January. Okay, so, it, early th this year, we were expecting that drug to finish its trials, and uh, the company actually just extended the trials all the way through... Uh, September-ish. Like July, August, September time frame uh, which was kind of a big disappointment for us uh, because yeah um, the sooner the better that Mary could try this drug um, yeah so um, and <clears throat> just like a glimpse into the medication world just because it's in trial or finishing trial doesn't mean that it's like available there is We've never been a part of this. It's called compassionate use. Um, it's for people with certain health criteria uh, that the pharmaceutical will allow before it's approved by the FDA. So you have to sign all the papers saying like, I understand this is not approved by the FDA or whatever. So basically my understanding is that they virtually make like a clinical trial type yeah. of thing yeah and okay. it's basically once the official trials are over and the FDA application <clears throat> is submitted then between that time that it's submitted and the FDA approves it there's that period of compassionate use and it's like a it is like still under the realm of research because it isn't approved yet right and so um, <clears throat> that is what my doctor is yeah, so hoping to. Yeah, so Mary is hopefully going to, once that trial is over, be able to uh, be on that drug. So I just remembered what brought me on that. The I was reading uh, uh, kind of in relation to these medications that treat the CF like at the cellular level. And one of the things I read or have heard from friends who are on it is that they don't cough up mucus anymore because it's treating an underlying issue. And so the thought of not waking up choking and gagging on mucus, like... Does that sound pretty good? It sounds amazing. <laughs> like, I can't... I literally cannot even imagine that. Like, it's going to take an adjustment time to be like, okay, like, this is my new reality. There's birds outside and, oh. Um, and it's, oh, oh man. That would really be interesting slash amazing. Yeah. I know, I know that they don't like cure all the everythings. I know that, but you kind of take what, you take the good and you take the not so good and you see if the pros outweigh the cons. Yeah. And uh, one of the pros is less mucus. I'm all for that. Yeah, which the idea is less mucus would equal less infection or less spot for infection right. to grow. Uh, and so which there's... Which would equal less exacerbations, which would equal less antibiotics, which would equal... Less deterioration over time. Yep. So. That's, um, so that's the answer to yeah. the often asked question. Yeah. No, I have never been on them because they haven't been approved for my mutations. Um, if you're a CF junkie and you want to know my mutations, 
um, Delta F508 and V520F um, are my two mu mutations. And, um, and Mary actually just came across another person with those same mutations. Yep. Which is pretty rare. Yep. Um, but. <clears throat> interesting. I've, yeah, it's an interesting world. It's so interesting because, like, as much as we think we know about CF, there's still so much we don't know. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that just in 1989 was when they located the gene. Yep. Identified it, yeah. So almost 30 years ago. Crazy. Anyway, those are our thoughts on a coffee. Saturday morning. Coffee Saturday morning. And thanks for uh, <clears throat> tuning in, guys. Yeah. Uh, we've got Easter tomorrow, and so I'm going to be working all day getting ready for our service. And Are you feeling pumped? I'm pumped. I feel like I've got a lot to do, okay. but I feel excited about it. So uh, we're going to say, as always, as always, we, we will see you tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Don't you think we're and good night. Um,